once lived a man so unique, so divine. He promised new life, heal the sick, ended pain. And then, cause he loved, cause he showed his love, people hated him. Hated this thing called love. He grew tall and strong, built a life, did nothing wrong, and he loved everything, every brook, every stream. Then, cause he loved us so much, he died, he died, he died for this thing. in the garden where he prayed and they led him through the streets in shame and they spat upon a savior so pure and free from sin they said crucify him he's to blame and upon his precious head you know they placed a crown of thorns Laughed. They laughed and said, Behold your king. And then they struck him and they cursed him. And they mocked his holy name. And all alone he suffered everything. Howling mob he yielded, he did not for mercy cry. The cross of shame he bore all along. And when he cried, it's finished, and he gave himself to die. Salvation's wondrous plan was. Destroy the world. 
you me. <laughs> What's going on over there? I hear. It's either killing somebody else, huh? Or they do step in Caesar's rose garden or something. Seriously, no, I mean, what'd they do wrong? Obviously they're guilty of something or the Romans wouldn't be killing them already. You don't know. Well, I guess they don't really need a reason anymore, you know? There's either three of them this time. Next thing they'll be in groups, you know? Uh, they won't stop till we're all dead. in the middle. I've seen him somewhere before. But I'm not sure. Wait, I remember now. I remember now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was on my way to Galilee, you know, and I, I came across this huge crowd of people. There were like hundreds of them next to the seaside, and him, the guy in the middle, looked like he was going to try to speak to them or something, but as he attempted to, I remember they were, they were crowding around him so close, like they were trying to touch him or something, but, that they were inadvertently pushing the poor fellow back into the water, you know? And I, and I thought to myself, hey, if this guy doesn't do something fast, he's going to be a very wet prophet, you know? Well, he must have thought so, too, because he uh, got into this boat. That's right, he got into this boat, and, uh, and all the rest of the people there sat around on the edge of the sea and the rocks and ledges and, and listened as he spoke. And, you know, he, he spoke like no one had ever heard before. About love and, and caring and sharing with everything and everyone and, and with such authority too. You know, I, I'd never heard anyone like that before. I was really impressed. I had to leave before he finished and I, I never got his name. I wonder who he is. I guess it doesn't matter much now, does it? He'll be dead in a few minutes anyway. Well, it's kind of strange out here or something. I don't know what it is. Feel that? It's kind of cold all of a sudden, dark. If I'm going to head back to town in a minute, okay? If you uh, find out who that is, I wish you'd let me know, you know? I, I don't know what it is about him, man. I, Man, that is the saddest face I've ever seen in my life. Those eyes. Those eyes. There's something about them, you know. I, I, I tell you this much. I have walked up and down this hillside, man. I have walked up and down, back and forth, half the afternoon. And no matter where I was standing, I, I swear to you, no matter where I was standing, I swear that the guy was looking right at
Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid my sweet Jesus in the tomb? Causes me to tremble, to tremble, to tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? He is my weed. 